Now, let's get down to business on this. So July says this series will be the next um, biggest thing in 2024. I have to restart that because I messed up. So let's see what I was talking about. I hope it's not Juju Kaisen because that's already big. Every single year, I see people on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, any social media possible, really, who are out here trying to predict the next big shonen anime or manga, the next Demon Slayer, the next JJK, or the next Chainsaw Man. Something that will absolutely take the internet by storm. Well, I'm here now at the start of 2024 to attempt to throw my hat into the ring of predictions for the next big thing in the manga and anime industry. Something that will pave the way for new manga and run the manga highest selling list each and every single week for the coming years. Now what manga, you may ask, will that be? What manga is going to absolutely take 2024 by storm and have every single person and their mother reading this particular manga? Well, the answer to that, my friends, you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video for. Wait, 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 I'm just kidding. Don't click off the video yet. The manga that will be the biggest manga in 2024 is none other than Goku Rakugai by Sano Yuta. Okay, uh, we already know of this anime. Oh, this, this manga. But I've never really gotten full depth into this, so I guess I'll give, mm, I guess I'll give this a, mm, a chance. If it feels like it's something I already heard based on his information, we'll go to another video. Because I want to at least get... That video from uh, Doma was pretty good. I love that one. Um, but I want to get another one that is something completely different. That's something that we heard before. Because I've actually had this this manga recommended before in previous videos. And I have actually put it in some of the thumbnails. So I don't want it to be coming up a third time. So... Now don't worry, this manga If is he can convince me how different this, this review will be, then I will put it as a video. But we'll see. Way more than just a mouthful to say, but it is absolutely incredible. But it takes more nowadays for a manga to succeed. There's a certain formula for a manga throughout the generations, and I think it'll come around a little bit more to what I'm saying when I explain the modern shonen manga format that is just continuing to do so, 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 so well. The modern shonen formula is very, very, very prevalent in manga like JJK and Chainsaw Man, which are, as you know, unless you live on under a rock are some of the biggest manga on the planet right now and some of the biggest anime on the planet right now so what do those two manga do so well and let's start off with the characters what are some of the most popular characters from both of those series and what are the kinds of characters that are doing really well in the anime and manga world right now for one you'd have to be living under a rock again to not know that those characters are makima and gojo a mature, about-their-business type of woman who's super strong and who doesn't mess around. Then you have a guy character who most of the time acts like an idiot, someone who acts a little bit like Patrick the Star, like Gojo Satoru, but when things start to get no, serious... No, 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 no. I don't know where he gets that feeling from. Gojo doesn't come off to me as a moron. He comes off extremely charismatic and extremely cocky, but stupid is not one of them. You are totally out the window on that one. I don't know what you mean by that one, bro. Maybe that's how you feel about him, but I don't feel that way about him. He's one of the most fan favorite and most charismatic anime characters so far in, a, in recent history uh, or recent times, but I don't think idiot it, it comes to mind to most people. I don't think so. No. They're there at the right time, being one of the strongest characters in their respective series. So what happens when you create a series with both the male and female lead following that exact formula? Well, from reading the first couple chapters and volumes from this series, I can confidently tell you that it creates something absolutely incredible. Chapter after chapter of super entertaining character interactions that make you fall in love with the characters and the story right from the very beginning. Now, speaking of the first chapter, What's the plot for this manga? The characters already sound great and all, but what's the story really about? A series can't just become the biggest without a good and enticing story that has great ominous villains that actually create suspense within the plot of the series. Amazing and entertaining side characters who add to the character interactions throughout the story as well, with a really interesting power system that I just constantly want to know more and more about. Once you add all those things together with what we know of the plot so far, 
far, this story has some real, real, real big potential. So without further ado, let's get into the synopsis for this next big series. We start out in a place called none other than Gokurakugai, a big and bustling district with a hidden dark side. In this place without any order, our main characters Tao and Alma work as troubleshooters for hire, just like the main characters of another very popular series, Gintama. Their missions include helping a lost boy find his friend, looking into a person who disappeared without a trace, and disfigured animal corpses, all while a greater evil lurks in the shadows that our main characters have to take care of. Now, for some new shonen manga, they get cancelled before they can even introduce their villain or their antagonist cast in the series, such as Phantom Seer, which was cancelled right as the villains were introduced, which if it was done better or earlier, maybe it wouldn't have been cancelled so fast. The first villain introduced in the story at the end of the first volume is done really, really well. The author is able to create a feeling of suspense and dread with Says, our main hey, character meeting the you? villain for the first time, even We're doing well. Sorry about that. I was on mute. We're doing well. Just come over here and uh, we're doing the reactions. We're doing some um, manga recommendations. So Even if they don't fight right away, there is just a certain feeling when you read something like this and it is familiarity. Says, okay. I feel like I'm reading a highest selling manga of all time. It feels like this manga has millions of copies published. I'm already on volume 30. It's thousands and thousands of people's favorite manga. That is what this manga feels like to me. It feels like something that is, is incredible. It just works in so many levels. Now, I didn't talk too much about the artwork for this story as there is only three volumes out at the time of this recording, but the artwork is absolutely incredible. As you can see on screen throughout this whole video, the artwork is truly amazing and it is some of the highest levels of shonen artwork can get, and I think it has a really high Says chance also, of becoming can you send me a, a pose I want to try and render and solely make on background. artwork and characters alone i mean they are so enjoyable and so entertaining throughout the story that it really just works the artwork is absolutely fantastic whenever this manga gets its english printing now that's probably far away because this series only has three volumes in japan and all three volumes have sold out consistently so it is already massive in Says Japan, okay, but thanks, once this bro. manga gets its English print, this series will be everywhere. You will not be able to escape this series. It will be on everyone's TikTok, everyone's Twitter, everyone's YouTube, everyone's every social media ever. This manga is going to be everywhere. This manga is going to be a massive anime. It is going to be so so big but that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this manga or what manga you think will be the next big shonen manga make sure to hit that post notification bell to never miss another video just like this one be sure to check out some of my socials down in the description below and be sure to check out one of the videos popping up on screen right about now but with that being said as always thanks for watching That was a pretty good video. I, thank you, July. So, like, with that said, like, subscribe, share, follow to July and myself. Um, if you like these videos, be go to the Patreon if you want these to keep going. If you like videos like this, to keep these type of stuff going.